Hello and thanks for joining. Today's topic is going to be a math tip and it's going to be a word problem on distance and time and rate. So what I'm going to do is we're going to work this problem out. We've got a car A is traveling south on the interstate at 70 miles per hour. Car B starts out at the same location and time as car A. However, car B is heading in the opposite direction. It's heading north at 60 miles per hour. How long will it take cars A and B to be 325 miles apart on the interstate? I wanted to quickly point out that all of these tutorials will eventually be posted on my website which is www.10minutetrain.com and here's some other websites that may be of interest to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump right in here and we are going to set up a little chart here. The formula for distance is always distance is equal to rate times time. Okay, so then we're going to go down here, we're going to look at car A and car B. And we're going to put in some factors that we already know. So what we know so far is that car A travels at 70 miles per hour and car B travels at 60 miles per hour. And we know that this is the variable for time. And then what we do is for distance, we don't put in the 325 yet. What we do is we know that distance here is equal to 70t and we know that the distance for car B is 60t. So then what we do is since we're adding them up that they're going they're going in different directions and we want to know when they're specifically 325 miles apart from each other we bring this down and what we want to find out is 130 for the rate times time, we want to know when that distance is equal 325 miles. So then what we do is we put, we divide 130 into 325. So let me do that over here. So 130 goes into 30 does not go into 32, goes into 325, looks like it goes in there two times. 2 times 130 is 260. So then I add 5, and then I, uh, 12 minus 6 is 6, and then I bring down the 0. So, 130 goes into 650, and let's see, 4 times, Five times, maybe it looks like it might be five. Let's check five. Five times zero is zero. Five times three is fifteen. And five times and carry the one. Five times one is five plus the one is six. Okay, so it works out perfect. So it's two point five. So T is equal to two point five hours in this case. So there's your answer. And what you can do to double check your work is you can go in here, let me erase this. Let me erase this over here to make a little space. Is I can go ahead and check car A. It travels 70 miles per hour times T, which in this case is 2.5 and then B, car B travels 60 miles per hour for 2.5 hours. 70 times 2 is 140 and 70 times 0.5 is 35 so that's 140 plus 35, 175 miles. So car A travels 175 miles in that two and a half hour period. Make that a little clearer. 60 times 2.5 
is 60 times 2, 120, and 60 times 0. 0.5 is 30. So that's 120 plus 30 is 150. And if I add these together, I should get 325. So there we've double checked our work and at 2.5 hours those two cars will be 325 miles apart. That's what I wanted to share with you today. Thanks for joining and take care.